Hey guys, I posted this question on Facebook recently and was pleased to see that uh, people were giving it a go, giving it a crack. Now, there's a difficult way to do this and there's a simpler way and a more intuitive way. So the more difficult way would be to use the equation. All right, we haven't looked at this just yet, but if you, if you were to look at the stimulus, they've provided you an equation. I'm not going to go through that method today, but I guarantee you it's going to be a lot more math intensive. So I'm going to go through the more intuitive way. Okay, so let's jump straight into the question. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I like to go straight to the question stem. So we're going to do that. We're going to jump to the question stem. The half thickness of high density concrete for the absorption of gamma radiation from a particular isotope is four centimeters. Which of the following is the closest to the minimum thickness of concrete required to absorb 99% of the radiation passing through it? We've got the options as well. Four centimeters, 16 centimeters, 27 centimeters, and 40 centimeters. Oh, by the way, you could pause the video at this stage and give this a go, all right, before we go through the explanation. So, First of all, what are we trying to find? And if you look at the wording, we are trying to find the minimum thickness. Okay, we're trying to find the minimum thickness of concrete re required. The condition that is required here is to absorb 99% of the radiation passing through. We're given more information as well. It says that the half thickness of this concrete, and that's important because obviously we're using concrete as the material, the half thickness of this concrete is four centimeters. Now, most people would not know what the half thickness is. Now, this is where I like to tell people to follow keywords and make sure you understand what they are because often they will define it in the stimulus. And by following keywords, you're also being more efficient. You know, you're, you're looking for something in particular in the stimulus rather than just passively reading. So if we go and we look for the word half thickness, we can see that half thickness is defined as the thickness of absorbing material necessary to reduce the intensity of radiation passing through it by one half. Okay, now what's happened here is by following the keywords, we have found the sentence necessary to solve this problem. In actual fact, you don't need to use any of the material above, okay, apart from that particular sentence. All right, so the half thickness is the thickness of absorbing material necessary to reduce the intensity of radiation passing through it by one half. So what does that mean? Essentially, if you're trying to pass radiation through this material, half of it is going to get through, okay, for that particular thickness. So when we come back to the question stem, about concrete in particular, they say that the half thickness is four centimeters. This is what they mean. If we had a bit of material, and let's say that this was concrete, and this is four centimeters in thickness. If I was to pass radiation through it, now we don't know how much radiation is passing through, but let's just take 100%, okay? So just some arbitrary value. So if we had a certain amount of radiation, we know from the definition that 50% will get through. Okay, so that's what's meant by the half thickness. It's going to reduce the intensity of radiation passing through it by one half. All right, this is all we need to solve this problem. We don't need to use the, the equation. We want in this particular question, if we go back to the condition now, we want it to be able to absorb 99% of the radiation, the radiation passing through. Another way of actually writing this is to say that it lets 1% through. Okay, so I hope you can see that it's not going to be A, right? Four centimeters of concrete is going to let 50% through. Okay, so it's not A. So how can we solve this? We can just keep on adding four centimeters of thickness. Okay, so imagine 
half of the radiation passes through four centimeters. If you put another block of four centimeters in front of that, it's going to now uh, reduce it by 50% again. It's going to reduce it by half again. So then 25% will go through it. And so on and so forth. Now, doing this kind of diagram is obviously going to take a bit of time. So we don't need to do this, okay? But I'll, I'll just show you what it would look like if we extended it a little bit further. All right, so drawing this is gonna take a while, but if you know this is a strategy you can use, we can simplify this, okay? So instead of doing this, we can just do this. We start off with 100, and we know that that's representing 100%, and we know that that's gonna to go to 50. All right, now every time I draw a dashed line across, we are passing through four centimeters of concrete. That's the way we can think about it. Every time we do it across a dash, that is one piece of material that we're going through. And every time it goes through, it halves. And just remember, we want to get to a situation where we get to about 1%. So if you're good at halving numbers, you can do this problem, okay? 100, 50, half of 50, 25, half of 25, 12.5, Okay, gets a little bit trickier, but you'll see you don't have to be super, super accurate. Half of 12.5 is 6.25. Half of 6.25, 3.125. Okay, now this is where you don't have to be so accurate. Half of 3.125, let's say it's about 1.5-ish or 1.6, doesn't really matter. Then half of that is going to be about 0.75. Okay, roughly. Okay, those last two are very rough, but you'll see it doesn't really matter. Again, every time you draw that dashed line across, you're going through a piece of material, okay? I'm gonna draw some lines to represent that too. So imagine that's one wall, that's four centimeters, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we would need to essentially stack seven four centimeter uh, pieces of concrete together, and that's going to allow uh, less than 1% through. Okay, so it's gonna get pretty close to 1%. So all you need to do is this, seven times four centimeters. So if you know your seven times tables or your four times tables, you will know that this is 28. So the closest answer will be C. All right, I hope you found this useful. Uh, there are surprisingly a lot of questions which you can answer like this. They're often going to be, I guess, hidden in some ways because they're not going to use the topic of radiation, for example. Uh, in my videos, I talk a bit about this, how you can recognize exponential behavior. So that's actually what this is. Okay, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments as well, let me know. For example, if you want me to go through particular questions. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks.